Hey uh, folks, this one is uh, we're using the straight edge and compass to construct what's called the circumcircle. So um, uh, this is um, uh, thinking that you guys already know how to construct like a congruent segments, how to bisect segments. So so here we're going to bisect segments. Don't forget all your, your groovy math lessons can be found at MrMathLog.com. So if you go to that, it'll give you this, this uh, screen right here. And so this lesson is going to be uploaded into our geometry class. So if you click geometry and then scroll down, it's going to go right down here, right underneath the congruent triangles by side angle side. All right, let's go ahead and get started with this, okay? So, given this triangle, so I tell my students to pick up a straight edge, and, and I tell them, please put this triangle in the middle of your paper. If I, if I could have this screen go down about another four inches, that would be great, so I can slide this down. So some of my constructions are going to be way up here. In fact, they're going to go up over here when I do the circle that goes around right here. Okay, so if you can, put this uh, triangle in the middle of your paper, not up towards the top, in the middle. In fact, I would put this triangle about 10 lines down if you have lined paper uh, below these instructions right here. Okay, so from before, you guys, we talked about circumcircles, you guys. Circumcircles, the center is called the circumcenter, and the circumcenter comes from the perpendicular bisectors of the sides. So let's construct the perpendicular bisectors. Now, the perpendicular bisectors intersect all at the same spot. So if you guys remember, that word is called concurrent. They intersect at the same spot means that they're concurrent with each other. So let me grab this compass right here and let me make sure I have uh, the correct colors. I think I did the first one in blue. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and construct uh, the perpendicular bisector of side BC. So Go ahead, put uh, pointy right there on B, and I ask my students, how big should my compass opening be? Well, it has to be at least, at least half the length, okay? I like to go a little bit more, so at least half the length of BC, okay? And that, what, what, then what we do is we arc, so we've already done perpendicular bisector, so that's back on Mr. Math Log if you don't know how to do that. And I'll show you real quick right here. So we arc right there, and then we take that same compass opening, and we go over there. Whoops, let's go back over here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to arc right there, and I forgot i got to arc down below also. So whoops, let me let me do that. So we arc on, on the top and on bottom. Whoops, i got to do that right there. Okay, then we do the same from over here. So I'm going to go over here and arc um, uh, the same compass opening and uh, they just got to make sure that they cross each other so uh, I'm going to arc right there and then take it up there and arc right there and then we're going to pick up our straight edge so pick up a ruler and then we're going to connect line up the straight edge so it connects right there I'm going to go ahead and use my straight edge tool right here okay so um, uh, we're just going to go right up through there okay and then I tell my kids let me know that you guys know that this is a perpendicular bisector so I'm just uh, making sure there's the line and how big should it be and my kids say uh, big enough so so how big should this line be big enough okay so here's the perpendicular bisector so let your teacher know that you know that it's a right angle right there so it's perpendicular Okay, and, and it's also bisecting this segment right here. So we're going to put a tick mark right there and a tick mark right there. Okay, now we're going to construct the perpendicular bisector of another side. So you can see I did that right there. Okay, so there it is. All right, so let's construct the perpendicular bisector of, we'll do side AB next. Okay, so I'm going to go over here to side AB, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, put the pointy on uh, well, let's put it on A first. So put pointy up here. Okay, I'm going to do this in red. So if you're just, um, the, the luxury I have is I have different colors here. So when you're doing this on a piece of paper, you don't have different colors. You just have your pencil. So I tell my students to make it a different size. How big? So it's just a little bit more than half. In fact, about three quarters. So the length from A to B. Okay, so we're going to we're gonna whoops gonna arc it out here so let me arc it out here okay and then we're gonna arc it on the other side of AB so it's gonna go over here same compass opening okay and then then we're gonna take that same compass opening and go over here on B and do the same thing so we're gonna arc it right here 
and we need to make sure these arcs intersect. If they don't, then we got to go back and make this arc bigger, okay, because we didn't make it big enough, okay. And then uh, same over here. I'm going to arc it right there, and then we'll connect those guys. Let me move my compass out of the way. <clears throat> excuse me and let me pick up uh, my red so so where it intersects we're going to line up our straight edge where the red intersection pieces are okay yours won't be red yours will be probably in pencil all right and how big is big enough <laughs> so my kids are telling me okay so it goes as long as it goes through the other perpendicular bisector right there okay so there's the perpendicular bisector of of, um, of a b okay and i tell my kids tell your teachers that you know what's going down here and write a put a little right angle right here so you know that it's perpendicular and um, make sure that it's uh, uh, that you have two little tick marks right there that it's that it's a right angle all right i had a student today say boy mine doesn't look like it's bisecting and it doesn't look like it's a right angle and I said well check this out so hold on if you can just wait for a second if I take this little um, uh, perpendicular bisector that we just created and I'm going to just take a quick picture of it right here okay and then I let me insert a page and and show you uh, here's that here's the perpendicular bisector we just constructed okay and I said imagine if I just tilted it sideways like there and can you see it's going through and making a nice perpendicular segment right there and it is bisecting that right there okay so it is a perpendicular bisector right there okay so there it is right there I connected them up all right so now we can do the perpendicular bisector of this segment also but I don't need to because I know this perpendicular bisector of this segment is going to go through the same point as these two guys intersected in. So this is my um, uh, circumcenter. So we'll call it P right there. Okay, so P is the circumcenter of the circumcircle that's going to circumscribe this triangle right here. So if we pick up our compass, let me grab uh, green right here. If we pick up our compass, you guys, and then just construct the circumcircle, the circumcircle is going to have the radius from P. So let me let me switch this around and get it down over here. So the radius is going from P, and you can just uh, open up your pencil to one of the vertices. Okay, I'm over here, so I'll open it up to C. Okay, now this goes from uh, PA is going to be the same radius as PB or PC. So you just pick one of those, uh, those um, uh, I'm trying to get there, let me get a little bit in. Uh, one, either this vertice or this vertice or this vertice, they're all the same right there. That's what this perpendicular bisector does when that one intersects. It gives us this center point of this circle right there. So there it is, right there. And notice how it goes through all the uh, vertices of that triangle right there, okay? All right, so there it is, and, and there it is when I squished it down and made it inside of that picture right there. All right, you guys, hope that makes sense, and take care.